Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Monday, August the 26th, the year's 2024. Let's talk trading, weekly open and gap. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And as we enter the last trading week in August, let's make sure we have risk management in place and we don't lose any more on any one single trade that we are willing to lose. So let's dive right in. Taking a look at the weekly chart, we can see on the dashboard, there's a lot of open gaps. So for any of you that like to trade the open gaps, it might be time to find one of those pairs and trade accordingly. Looking at the pound, we're just a little over two pips below that weekly open, 21 off the high and 21 off the low. So we're right smack in the middle of that 42 pip weekly range so far. We will zoom out, look at the monthly. As you can see, we put in a high for the year so far this month, and we're still above last month's high. And we go down to the daily chart. We're putting in the opening range for the week. As you can see, that Friday candle was a huge up candle. And one other thing to note, there was two, four, six, seven green days in a row. Looking once again at the monthly chart, we can see we are 489 pips above the yearly open. And just 30 pips off of that high. One thing I'll, I'll mention, um, and we're going to do some videos about this, a trader um, posted a comment on the YouTube about you know, I guess analyzing markets and figuring out, you know, the changing markets and what you have to do. Well, part of these, uh, you know, the videos I make on Monday and Friday, the weekly opening gap and then the weekly wrap up, that's when you can, you know, you can look and see what price has been doing, looking for changes. And then whether or not you have to adjust your strategy and or tactics. Usually it's a, maybe it's a slight adjustment of tactics, not so much an adjustment of strategy. So when you see certain things that are different than what you see on a regular recurring basis, you know, something might be up and it might be time to really focus in on what's going on. So we had an inside bar eight days ago, but we've been making higher highs, higher lows. So far, we've we've got an inside bar today. So that can indicate some indecision on the market. Meaning inside bar of your you're not breaking out of the previous bars high or low. So it's like they haven't made up their mind which way price needs to go. Only two pairs over 100 pips. And I believe it's a bank holiday over in uh, the UK. So that might be part of the reason why there hasn't been much movement so far today except on a couple of the pound pairs. As you can see, we've crisscrossing now that weekly open. So you might want to take a crossover trade and see what happens here. Not enough range for rats. Even though you can see where the smart rat ranges. 
are slightly different than the original rat and smart rat is based on frequency distribution but the smart rat's dynamic meaning it adjusts itself every day Uh, looking at the uh, pivot trading plan, Bambino Flex indicator says short. Price near the pivot is calling for a long. And so we did get near the pivot and price did go up from there. We're nowhere near R1 or S1 at the moment. And looking at the Miss Pivot chart, we missed the daily pivot today by three pips. Okay, we have not hit the weekly pivot yet. And out of the last thousand weeks, We've only had three consecutive misses 14 times. So, we'll have to wait and see if we take this pivot out this week. And we have taken out the monthly. See, in and out of that upper wick zone a couple of times. We're still below that weekly open right now. And once again, just 42 pips. We haven't broken out of the high or the low. So high minus open, 19 pips for the week at the moment. Open minus low, 23 pips. But so anybody taking uh, some of those crossovers paid off. As far as the rats, it's not big enough, but um, high minus close 25, close minus low 17. So if you're trading off the extremes, you can still make money even on these tight range days. In fact, I spoke with Walmart. He's got something else to do, so he couldn't join us today. But he did make his pips earlier. I see we were crossing below the 3200, the double O or triple O, if you want to include the fifth digit. So shorting that psychological would have paid off so far by a few pips. And looking at the uh, higher low, lower high. You can see just with your eyeballs, these ranges that get put in. And one thing to observe on these is when a semaphore or one ball, two ball, three ball are put in. Watch. Now, you look to the left and then see if price crosses above that level. And that's what these, these lines here are red and blue lines these are the r3s or s3s the support or resistance three ball lines those are the dash now the dash dot lines those are the fib 
retrace lines from three ball to three ball. So you can see we put in a three ball, three ball, and it went to the 50, all the way up to the, uh, what is it, 70, I forget what that one is. I'll have to look. Used to, when I was trading them, 76 level. So right now we might be able to uh, observe one of these. Now, just knowing my rule of thumb, if it goes, should go down to about maybe the 90 and come back up, you can see it almost broke that level. And can just watch it for a minute or two, see what happens. So if it breaks below that 90, this 91 level here, I'd look to, to, for reversal back up and through. It just broke through, so you can see this became the new three ball. And so some people would say it, um, it's repainting when actually, no, it's not. It's updating in real time. So, as I figured it, go down to the 90 and actually beyond. So, since we're putting in a new three ball, you can see these fib lines are moving. And so, if you look left, you see these two levels here. There's the three. So, look for a, a close above this for a, a long trigger or indication that you might want to look for a long trigger one other thing you notice there was a gap here and price i think it filled it here but it definitely has filled it if it didn't And so sometimes when you look at the chart, you can see here there was a gap and then price had to come back and fill it. So let's see what happens here. So you got to close above those two levels. You might want to try for a long here. Also, there's a flip-flop. And looking at the high wick zone and the low wick zone, you can see here, we put in a new low wick zone. Possible lower. I just want to take a quick peek at something. Where is it? This chart here. Okay. We came back through that big wick and pushing down. Sellers are telling us something. So, fellow traders, I hope you had a fun and safe weekend. Thanks for coming back. And I want you to always remember and never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one, over and out.